What's up? One mechanic here, Dave. And today I have a small tool haul for you and a review of a tool that I've been asked about from my last video, the service truck video. Are you ready? Come on back. Let's go. Before I get to the tool haul, I want to talk about a tool that I had on my service truck that I showed and had some questions about it. And that is this tool. So this is a 33 millimeter extended. Might be hard to see. But it is, let me get a light here. Gray pneumatic, and uh, three-quarter drive. This has been a great tool. Uh, we have one on our service truck and one in the shop, and uh, we only use a three-quarter gun to do our big truck tires, and doing the rear tires around the hub and stuff like that, this thing is awesome. Um, also, what's really nice about it, is you can see down in there has room for the lug nut and everything in there so yeah I will uh, post a picture of that um, Amazon where you can get it from Amazon and the price um, but I just kind of wanted to show that. People were asking what it was and who made it and stuff like that. And I just thought I'd do a quick review on that. So there's that. So the next thing I bought is from Mac. And that is this. The Expert 8 or 6 piece Universal Impact Extension Set. Quarter, three eighths, half inch, six and twelve of each size. And uh, comes in this nice holder. There we go. Part number E113500. Again, made by Expert to stop my Mack truck. And it comes with quarter, three eighths half, quarter, three eighths half. And what I wanted to try is that these are swivel on the ends. So. I'm hoping that by not having a big clunky universal on the end of it, that this will save some space. These are impact rated. Um, so it should technically take a beating. So, that is the first thing I got. I can't wait to start using that. I just got this from filming this just a couple days ago. Haven't had a chance to use it yet, but doing other stuff. So, a couple of days later, I got to use my new Expert Wobble Extension. And I used it with my Expert 13 millimeter. 
and I got a real short video of it but look how nice and compact that is so I compared it to what I normally would have used with my snap-on extension snap-on swivel or wobble socket how you want to call it this is also a 13 and look at the difference and I got a short video just a little clip of how I got into a really tight spot and this really worked out for me today but I just wanted to show that oh and this is my normal uh, swivel so I had an extension swivel and a socket it'd be a little bit longer than the wobble is already made up but I wanted to show that and watch this little clip and uh, see what you think. And the other thing I did was, if you guys remember, that I got this snap on uh, 3H ratchet short length and I've been using it all the time well there's a an issue that I wish the handle was a little bit longer I think you guys remember that in my one video when I was redoing that um, fuel line so I asked the Mac guy if they made a longer one and they said no however we made one so what we did was we took the head off of this one and stuck it on this handle. And I got another one of these coming back 3 8 because I love the size. But, and these are not the same guts by the way. We, we tried that first before just swapping the heads. But as you see the handle is almost twice the length. Now this isn't for torquing down or anything like that, but to get into a tight spot, to break something loose or something like that, I think this will work out pretty good. Uh, hopefully this week he has my replacement 3 8 in this size. Um, but I, I haven't used it yet with this long handle, but I'm sure I will. Well, I thought that was kind of a neat idea. Um, like I said, it's not to torque things down, but just to, you know, break something loose. Because when I was breaking that banjo bolt loose, I could barely get my fingers on the edge of it to do it. Where I had room, I could have used this. So that'll be nice when I get the 3 8 version back in. Got a couple options now. Plus that, and with my good old trusty stubby Cornwell 3 8 Look how big the head is. But yeah, nice choices, nice selections, huh? What do you think? I also got these off the snap-on truck, forgot, uh, IPA 8080, stainless steel twisted wire four brushes, and a couple different sizes, and I've been looking for these, these are only 15 bucks off the snap-on truck I believe, and you get quite a few different sizes in there with these. Um, normally, I have this one, which I cut off, put into a drill to do like caliber pin bores and stuff like that. I've been wanting something better and stronger, so now I got these in some different sizes. So yeah, 
for 15 bucks, I'll snap one. I think that's a pretty good deal myself. So that'll come in really handy. And especially for $15, I'm kind of surprised. Uh, there you go, part number again. And this is the add-on. Uh, I didn't think Snap-on was going to come this week because of snow and ice, but he did. That's what I got. And I'm still waiting on the ratchet that I talked about earlier. So that's my tool haul. Um, just a couple things, nothing exciting. Uh, I really wanted to show off... Uh, this is asked some questions on uh, YouTube and face or uh, Facebook, Instagram about this, and uh, I'll post a part number below uh, if you didn't see it on the snapshot on the screen. Um, but great tool, use it all the time. We've had this one for two years now. Um, Tiger Tool also makes this, by the way. We try to get a Tiger Tool. Um, they didn't know when they were going to have theirs, and we found this on Amazon. It was cheaper anyway. And like I said, what we use this almost daily. So it's been a great tool. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my extensions. Can't wait to start using those. And then my little unauthorized snap on modification. Um, I think that'll come in, won't be used every day of course, not like it was before. Um, matter of fact, I missed not having the 3.8's head back in that one. But hopefully here in a couple days he'll be back and he'll have a new one. Right, hopefully, snap on, you never know. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. And I'll bring another one to you, hopefully you'll like it. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Tell me how I can improve. Um, I love to hear um, constructive criticism. And we'll keep going. All right? You guys take care. And this is for Turbo Tai Tai. Ciao. Bye-bye.